Good example here of the importance of getting vertical forearms with the breaststroke catch. This is Coulter from today working on his breaststroke. He started out with horizontal forearms. We got him vertical and he got a much better grip on the water. Here's Coulter early in the session before we tweaked the stroke. So you can see that his forearms are staying somewhat horizontal. So he's more like polishing the water rather than really getting a grip on the water. So we're going to adjust that coming up next. Here's Coulter doing a drill where he's working on vertical forearms with light flutter kick. And then he'll break into breaststroke here after he gets the feel, digging in for a much better catch with vertical forearms. Good. Freestyle focus with Jacob today. So first thing we wanted to work on was this wide swinging straight arm freestyle and the high head position. We want to get a narrower arm recovery and keep that head driving forward in line with the spine. Nice adjustment here, Jake. Narrower recovery, giving you better rotation and therefore more power, driving the head along a straighter line. Good work. We're going to work this into a habit. Good stuff. Grace has a lot of freestyle events coming up in her championship meet, so we focused heavily on that today, especially body-driven freestyle, being long and strong, extending into the catch rather than just landing and catching quickly. Here's Grace early in the session before we tweak the stroke, so you can see she's being kind of arms-driven here, swinging the arms out wide, really not holding a great line through her stroke. So you're going to see a nice adjustment next when she gets narrower and extends into the catch. Nice adjustment here as Grace extends into the catch with each stroke. Rotation is enhanced greatly, and therefore so is the power. This is much more body-driven. Excellent. So the true test is when we add some intensity and really try to go fast with enhanced rotation and a nice extension into the catch. So here's Grace doing some 100 freestyle pace, doing really well with it. Very nice, Grace. Here's Lucas working on his freestyle today. So early in the session here, just a little bit too casual with the arms and a little bit delayed on the breathing. So we just need to sharpen things up with the body line, head position, keeping the tempo on pace. After watching himself on video, Lucas sharpened up his stroke. Head position, driving the hands with authority into the catch, sharpening up the kick. Overall, much more command of the water. Nice adjustment. One of my favorite things to do when working on freestyle technique with swimmers is to challenge them to count their strokes and to lower their stroke count. And Lily took that challenge today at her first one-to-one -one session. She was taking 21 strokes and she lowered it significantly. Check out the adjustment that Lily made here. She lowered her stroke count from 21 strokes to 16. And she adjusted her head position in the process, enhanced her rotation, and therefore her power and speed. Good job, Lily. A really effective way of increasing the intensity and effectiveness of your turns is to alternate one finish with one turn, one finish with one turn, and attack each turn just like you do on the finish. And that's what Lindsay did here today. Okay, here comes Lindsay, all out finish with great distance per stroke inside the flags. Now she's going to apply this same intensity to her turn coming up next. Now here comes Lindsay applying the same intensity that she had on her finish into the turn. Sometimes we just approach the turns too timidly, guys. But if you do one finish 
and then one turn and then one finish and one turn, you can make those turns really take off. Here we're going to apply the principle of overcorrection to help Jake with his overreaching in freestyle. As you can see, he is landing at the 12 o'clock position. We're actually going to drive wide enough so it feels like he's aiming for 3 o'clock, and that'll fix the issue. Here's Jake early in the session, so you can see here that he is crossing over pretty significantly. Both arms, but especially that right arm. So we're going to aim for 3 o'clock, believe it or not, and it's going to land him at the 1 o'clock position. All right, so here he is aiming for 3 o'clock with that right arm, which is on the left side of your screen. Even though he's aiming for 3, he's landing at 1 o'clock, right in line with his shoulder. Sometimes you really have to overcorrect to land in the right spot. Last session of the day today was with Tuyen. Tuyen is going to do some really nice work on his butterfly. As you're going to see in just a minute, he was short stroking it, which means he was landing and catching without extending into the front part of his stroke. So watch the change that he makes. So here you'll see Tuyen before we worked on his stroke. You'll see that he is landing and engaging the catch right away. He's not being patient enough, and he's not extending into the front part of his stroke. Just kind of landing, catching right away. So really not flowing. He's going to flow now. Watch the nice adjustment here as Tuyen is very patiently extending into the front part of his stroke, allowing his hips to rise up so he gets more power because he's now body-driven instead of limbs-driven. Nice adjustment, Tuyen.